Welcome to Workshop Topics. I'm going to try one of these. It is a Proxon Bench Drill model TBM220. More powerful than the small mini MOT motor tools, but much less brutal than my pillar drill in the main workshop. Ideal for drilling lots of small holes, tapping size for 6BA bolts. The first thing I'm going to do is remove the cover to show you how it works inside. I bought this for my daughter a few years ago, but now she no longer has a use for it, and so she gave it to me, and I've never really thought about using it until now. This is not a direct drive machine. It's geared, which is quite useful. There are three available speeds. Slow, medium and fast. This is the medium speed. I'll run it at this speed for the first test. This twist drill is 3 seconds of an inch in diameter and it's going through the steel very easily. Unfortunately though, this particular twist drill is a little bit on the blunt side and it's not been helped by pushing it through at too fast a speed without any lubricant. I think a more sensible speed would be to use the lowest one available and here it is. With the belt on the smallest motor pulley and the largest pulley on the drill side of things. With this gear ratio the drill is obviously running at a lesser speed but with greater power. I've replaced the top cover and it's now time to test it. At this speed the job feels very different. The drill is making progress through the work but the problem is it's extremely blunt. I think it's time to sharpen it. The last thing I want to do is apply too much pressure and blunt the twist drill further and possibly break it off. Even though I have a really good drill sharpening machine called a Drill Doctor, that's in the main workshop, so I sharpened this one on the belt sander by eye. Not good practice, I know, but I've done this for many years and I don't really need a drill sharpening machine. When I resumed the drilling operation, the difference was astonishing. At first I thought the drill bit was being pushed up into the collet, but no, it was going through the steel. I also noticed that it required a lot less pressure on the lever to make this happen. If you've been following the series about making a Blackgate Sweet Pea locomotive, you will realise what I'm making. These are the crossheads. This is a bit of an experimental dummy run. I'm not actually going to use these crossheads because I cut the blocks to the size of the originals rather than to the drawing. And with both of the plates locked tighter to their respective block, I know that this job is a big fail right from the start, but I will carry on regardless to let me make this video. This is a very nerve-wracking job. So far, a big slot's been milled down the middle of the block, and that's bad enough. I'll have to do that again on a new piece of steel. The problem is, though, at any time, if the drill bit snaps off in any of the holes, that is bad and the part is scrap. And once it comes to the threading part of this, using a 6BA tap, that's really going to be nerve wracking because it's very easy to snap a tap off in the hole, particularly a small one. With this job you need to be firm but delicate at the same time and this is quite difficult to achieve sometimes. I'd like to mention by the way that this is a very short video. I can only show so many things about drilling holes in a piece of metal. This clip clearly illustrates that the block is too small for the cover plate. And after drilling the holes I can clearly see the impression of the thread on the outside. And at this side the top is far too big for the block. OK, so this is underneath, I could use some JB Weld and bodge it, but I'm not going to do that. If a job's worth doing, it's worth doing well. Surprisingly, the 6BA bolts fitted perfectly into these damaged holes. But that's not the point. I cannot live with a job like this at all. The holes are very close to the edge on the top cover plates, and having the block too small was never going to end well. I knew what was going to happen because I've done it before. Before I even started the drilling operation I thought, hmm, these are far too close to the edge. But then I thought, well it will make a good video if I continue as though I'm finishing the part and then show how really bad it is. Because don't forget, mainly I make tutorials. It's better for me to make the mistake 
and for a raw beginner to make the mistake and get put off the hobby for life. That's it for this one. Stay safe, stay healthy. Thanks for watching, and I hope you found it useful. I'm going to cut another pair of blocks to the right size and machine the slot down the center, but that's in another episode. Please take the time to visit my Main Steam Models website and click on the section of the website that says Video Playlists. And by doing that, you can find other videos that you may like to watch. And by using the playlists, you can actually watch the videos back to back.